I-S-U-P-K. Vote black man. Voting does not make sense once you're black. If you're a East Indian, voting makes sense. You understand? If you're a Chinese, voting makes sense, yes. But for a black man, voting do not make sense. So stop vote. Eric Williams said do nothing for black people because we're still suffering and dying. So you can't say you do something for black people. Right. We're still suffering and dying. You understand? Man in. Every politician never do nothing for black people. That is why we still suffering and dying so right. in the ghetto. You understand? So stop vote black man. Come in this school and learn how to be free of the oppression of life, black man. Right. Well, the book of Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations. You understand? So this is Christ saying this here now. Before Christ, every race, your nation is your race. Every race is going to gather before Christ. And you know all I like to say, um, Christ come to join everybody together. Christ come to give out cookies and cream. Well, right. Christ is saying here, when he returns, all races is going to come towards him. Every race. Go ahead. And he shall separate them one from another. And then, when they come to him, Christ is going to separate every race, one from amongst the other. You understand? So if Christ said, when he returns, he's going to separate every race from another, why we say we should join hands with the East Indian and the Chinese and the 1%? Why we saying that, black people? Christ saying he's going to separate everybody. So who is you? You better than Christ then. You have to be better than Christ because you said totally opposite to what Christ is saying in the Bible. You understand? If you want to know how to be free black man, the first thing you have to do is separate yourself from every race on the face of you. You understand? Yeah. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations. And, be, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Right? So the Lord is saying he's going to separate us, the nation of Israel, from all the other races. That is what he's saying. We are called sheep in the Bible. The Lord saying we as the sheep, he's going to separate and divide us from all the goats. Goats are the end with IS. Meaning plural, more than one. So the black man is going to be separated from every other race on the face of the earth when Christ returns. You understand? So do not listen to your pastor and say God love everybody. Right. God love everybody is not in the Bible. Right. That is a lie. God only loves one race of people in the Bible. You understand? And that race is the black man. Hispanic and Native Indian. Because when they do a history, those Venezuelans was in slavery just as the black man in Trinidad. Them Venezuelans is we brothers and sisters. Who we should be, you know what we should be doing, black man? We should be chasing all them East Indians out of Trinidad. Right. That's what we should be doing. 
Right. Chase all these Sanjans out of Trinidad. Right. right. Because these Sanjans are racist right. against black people. Right. So I don't go back in there. Right. I don't like black people, these Sanjans. Well, I don't go back in there. Right. You understand? Yeah, we can make it. Look, 12 man. You understand? We are not affiliated with any religious group on the face of the earth. We are not Christians, Muslims, Hindus, um, Buddhists, Egyptologists. We are not them. If it is not in the ISUPK, it is not in the truth. You understand? Go ahead. The book of Luke, chapter 12 and verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. Right, so Christ is saying, I all of feel I come to give peace on the earth. That is what all of feel I come to do. I all of feel I come to give peace. That's what Christ is saying. Go ahead. I tell you, nay, but rather division. Right? Christ is saying no. I did not come to bring peace on this earth. Christ is saying he come to bring division. Christ come to divide every race on the earth. Right. And very soon, the black man will be the masters. And the other races going to be with slaves. Right. I cannot wait to be whipping the backs of every standard in Trinidad. Right. I can't wait to be whipping the backs of every 1% and Chinese right. in right. Trinidad. You understand? And I cannot wait. I am praying today that the Lord bring the coronavirus for every standard in Trinidad. Right. right. Because all you East Indians is racist right. against black people. Right. All the East Indians don't like black people. And all other East Indians should get the coronavirus. Right. No black man should get the coronavirus. Right. Only East Indians right. should get the coronavirus. That's right. right. Because all the racist right. Right. against black people. Right. 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 All of don't like me. Well, I pray to God that all of die from the coronavirus tonight. Right. Every Stenian. That is why I pray. Luke chapter 12 verse 51. Suppose he that I'm come to give peace on earth. I tell you, nay, but rather division. Right? So Christ is saying he come to give division on earth. That's what Christ is saying, not peace. He just read it for you. So then what your pastor has been saying all the time? Right? What your pastor has been saying all the time? Eh? Your pastor is a damn liar. Right. God right. does not love everybody. Right. Right. You understand? God only likes black people. Right. He don't love no other race. Right. So I am right for saying I pray to God that all East Indians die of the coronavirus tonight. Right. Right. All East Indians should die of the coronavirus because all the racists against black people. Right. You understand? Yeah, go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Right, so this is, this is talking about Christ. The white horse is talking about Christ. You understand? The person that sat on it was the spirit of Christ conquering and going to conquer in the future, whether by words or physically. That is what Christ is coming to do, conquer. He's coming to take over. We going and rule in the future, black man. If you want to rule, black man, you have to get in this school. Learn how to keep the laws of God, and you will rule, black man. Yeah, continue. And in righteousness, he doeth judge and make war. Right? And in righteousness, he will judge and make war. That is the kind of man Christ says. Christ do not come here for peace. Christ come here to bring war. Right. And destruction. Right. And slavery. Right. Because in the kingdom of heaven, the black man will be ruling every race. Right. And right. all you East Indians will be in slavery. Right. We will be whipping the backs of every East Indian in Trinidad. Right. That is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be whipping the backs of every 1% and Chinese in Trinidad. Right. So said the Bible. I didn't say it. If you had to vex with somebody, vex with a Christian pastor for lying. Right. all them years. 
Roll. All of Philly King never fell one was Kumbaya. All of Philly King never fell one was drinking um, milk and honey. That is not the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is about slavery. Right. And black man, you will be the slave master. Right. And the other races go be with slaves. Right. And that is only fair. Because the other races had us in slavery. Right. So why we can't have them in slavery too? Right. It's only fair, black man. Right. But in order for that to happen, black man, all have to come and join the school. Learn the laws of the Bible. You cannot learn the laws in the Christian church because your pastor is a damn liar. The book of Revelation, chapter, chapter 19 and verse 12. His eyes was a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew. Right? So Christ's eyes was like flame of fire. Because he drink a lot of wine. You see your pastor saying drinking alcohol is a sin? Your pastor said a damn liar. Right. Christ used to drink alcohol in the Bible. Right. Drinking alcohol is not a sin. Right. You could drink alcohol, black man. Don't listen to your damn pastor. Drinking alcohol is not a sin. Christ drank alcohol until his eyes turned red. Right. He wasn't drunk. But he drank alcohol till his eyes turned red. Right. That is why his eyes was like the flame of fire. You understand? Here, come. Continue. And Christ had a name that nobody knew. You but understand? He, that was it. Yeah, he was talking about his reputation. That was talking about Christ's reputation. He had a reputation that nobody knew. Go ahead. Yeah. But he himself, verse 13, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Right, and his vesture, his vesture is his clothes. Christ's clothes was dipped in blood, black man. What does that mean? It means when Christ returns, he is going to kill people. Right. Christ is not going to sing Kumbaya. Right. Christ is coming to kill people. Right. That is what Christ is coming to do. Stop listening to your pastor. Christ coming and kill people so much. His clothes will be covered in blood. Right. That is what's going to happen, black man. And slavery as well will be in the kingdom of heaven too. Don't forget that. Right. You understand? Know We're going to have every East Indian in slavery. Every 1% in slavery. Right. Every Chinese in slavery. Right. That is what we go going to do, black man. So if all of want to know how to come out of oppression, black man. Right. Vote for Christ. Right. Because when Christ come back, he's coming to kill. Right. You understand? Christ not coming to send Kumbaya. Your pastor going to be saying Kumbaya when Christ cutting off his neck. Right. That is what going to happen when Christ return. Right. It's going to be a bloody day when Christ return. Right. You understand? You're going to learn the truth today. That's hey, right. You ain't gonna know what the pastor was telling you all the time. Right. You understand? Your pastor is a damn liar. Right. And you black women should stop going to church. Right. And stop sending your children to church. Because your pastor is a damn liar. He's not speaking the truth in the Bible. Right. Bloodshed is what is going to happen in the future. Right. World War Three is coming soon. Right. right. And black man, Christ wants to bring World War Three now, black man. Right. But the Lord doesn't want to kill all your black people because the Lord loves all you. Let the Lord do a drive-by in West Morin. Let the Lord do a drive-by in Valsain. You understand? All these rich areas, Penal, Debe. Right. Let the Lord do a drive-by and kill all them East Indian right. black right. man. You understand? But all in the way, all the whole and back the Lord from killing them East Indians, black man. Right. Because the Lord don't want to be killing all you. All you standing in his way, black man. But very soon, the Lord is going to say, right, all your grace period up. Whoever in my way are killing all you too. Let the Lord do a drive by. Let the Lord kill all them East Indians for oppressing black people. Since 1845, when them East Indians came off the fatal Razak. Them East Indians oppressing black people. 
You understand? And then saying we should, we should um, forget about slavery. Meanwhile, these Stenians are oppressing black people. I pray that every Stenian die of the coronavirus. I pray it happen now. Let every East Indian get the coronavirus right. and die from it. Right. Don't recover from it. You should die. Every East Indian in Trinidad. Right. Every East Indian should get the coronavirus right. and die for being racist against black people. Right. Because all the East Indians don't like black people. Right. All are just using black people. Make them vote PNM and UNC. And the black man still suffering in the ghetto. Right. How I could vote and I still suffering in the ghetto. Right. Voting don't make sense for black people. Right. What we really voting for is Christ. We have to come back to black man. But you will not learn Christ in the Christian church. Right. That is not Christ you're learning about in the Christian church. Now I'm going. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17 and verse 15. And thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Right? So the Lord is saying, you shall not in any wise set him king over you, black man. The Lord is saying, we should not vote because the Lord is going to put a king over you us. Die, you understand? That is what we should be what? doing. Don't vote, black man. Voting do not make yeah. sense. Yeah. If it's a East Indian vote, it makes sense. Because no matter who the black man vote for, it's only the East Indians prospering. Right. Politicians don't give a damn about black people. Right. So why are you voting? I understand why you're voting. Because all the poor and oppressed. All are hoping for a sign one day right. that some politician lead black people out of oppression. Right. But for the years since Eric Williams' days, black people voted. And since in Eric Williams' days, black people still oppressed. Right. So why all are voting? Voting do not make sense. If there's a East Indian, it makes sense. If there's a Chinese, or a one percent, it makes sense, but not for the black man. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused. About to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues. Call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? With them to prep for life, I'm believing fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 